On your marks. The girls JV race, all divisions, last girls race of the day. Team score, Great Oak, 45, Nikita, 81. These are unofficial. Buchanan, 93, Granite Bay, 107. Mix, mix. Girls. Coming to the half mile, these girls are out pretty quick. So at least 10 runners pass the half mile in under three minutes in his girls JV, last girls race of the day. If you're saving your cheering for girls races, use it up on this one. Cameron Murphy, Jay Sarah, and Elise Packard, Jay Sarah, Jasmine Dahl of Clovis East, Riley Burgess of Buchanan, and Melanie Castillo of Great Oak up there in your lead group. So two from the Lions of Jay Sarah, Clovis East, Buchanan, and Great Oak. Come the leaders through the tunnel of trees if you're looking below. Great little pack up front. It's like Murphy. And Packard. One, two. As the running lines are moving out. Heading toward the mile mark. Riley Burgess from Buchanan in third. No 
Heading to the mile mark. We'll have to check that out in just a moment. Murphy and Packer, Jay Sarah, 553, two under six minutes there. Riley Burgess, 604. Isabella Blanco, Clovis North. Melanie Castillo, Great Oak, fifth. Amanda Beaton of Los Altos, uh, Central Sec Sectoral Coast section, sixth. Amika Telly of Great Oak. Emma Lewis, Los Altos. Ava Devlin of St. Ignatius and Molly Hux. Of Jay Sarah, make up your top 10. Jay Sarah, 33 points through. Mean. Leaders coming halfway home, Murphy and Packard. They're at Emma Braden, Beaton, Amika Telly, Riley Burgess, Isabella Blanco, and Melody Castillo were the first group coming by the halfway point, all knocking on the door of a possible sub 20 or low 20 minute race in this girls JD race. Excellent time at this time of the day as the weather heats up a little bit. Make sure you're hydrated all day long here at the 43rd annual ASICS Clovis Invitational. Packard, Murphy. Up 
there at the front and 3,000 meters as they hit Packer stretching her lead. JV runner from J. Sarah. Beaten into second. Beaten is from Los Altos. Leaders working their way through the tunnel of trees. Packard stretching it out. 13-10 with a mile to go. Under 650, inch of break 20. Beaton of Los Altos in second. Telly of Great Oak is moving up to third. Murphy of J. Sarah in fourth. Castillo, Great Oak, and fifth. So Jay Sarah with two in the top three. Great Oak with two in the top five. Blanco, Clovis North, St. Ignatius, Eva Devlin in seventh. Riley Burgess, Buchanan in eighth. Emma Lewis gives Los Altos two in the top ten. And 10 and 11 are from Jay Sarah. So they'll be the first and 12 means Jay Sarah has all five scores in the top 12. Thousand meters to go. We got Packard, Beeson, Telly, Murphy, and Castillo as they're making the turn toward the log down the whoop de doo Beaton in second, Telly in third. Murphy in fourth and Castillo in fifth as we're moving toward a half mile to go. Last girls race of the day. Packard extending her lead about 15, make that 16, 30, half mile to go. Needs to be under 330 in that last half mile to break the magical 20 minute mark here. We're at 17 minutes right now in the last girls race of the day.
Closing it down here. Less than 600 meters to go as they approach the Christmas tree. Packer trying to stretch her lead. Beaton of Los Altos trying to narrow it down. And Telly has been moving up very well as both Beaton and Telly moved up well that second mile. Murphy trying to hang on to fourth for the Lions. And Castillo staying strong right there at fifth. If you've lost your phone, your watch, you might check over at the Mountain View shelter with the chicken area to see if that's been turned in. Once again, if you lost your phone, your watch, your car keys, please check over at the Mountain View Center shelter, which is where the registration is, right by the start line, to see if that's been turned in. Good job, ladies. We got a race going on here. Oh. This is Los Altos, gonna break 20 minutes. Like the second grade oak runner here. We're at 20, 39, 20, 40. Devlin in second, Jay Sarah with the first with five in. Reminder, there are no set boxes on this 
race for the boys. So it's first come, first serve. If you're not on the front line, we're back a little on the second line. Plenty of room there. That's how all the races start here anyway. And we're finishing this girls' JV race. Eden of Los Altos, the winner, 1950. Devlin, SI, 2008. Telly, Great Oak, 2011. Castillo, Great Oak, 2027. Murphy of uh, J. Sarah, 2042. Blanco, Clovis North, 2042. Riley Burgess Buchanan, 2045. Emerson Lewis, Los Altos, 2055. Alexa, Atlantic, Los Altos, 2103. And Holly Hux, Molly Hux, uh, J. Sarah, 2113. Norma Santiago, Norma Santiago, please report to the Mountain View shelter. We have something that belongs to you. Norma Santiago, please go to the Mountain View shelter, the check-in area right by the start area. The meat management has something that belongs to you. All right, no more runouts. Okay, all A 
as our JV girls finish our large school, extra large school, and championship division boys JVs have begun. That means the final JV race of the day, the extra large and large cross soft boys, that group will go at 120. You are 25 minutes away from the start of your race. Nice job, ladies. Nice work. Nice work. And leaders of our boys JV race here, we've got Aaron Sagara, Aiden Arkinyankani, and Su those are our leaders. All right, we've got ourselves a heck of a JV race. Right through the tunnel, the trees just have come out. We've got about 20 boys all right together there, heading to the mile mark. <laughs> 